and now plenty of football is being played here. Maybe the schools, the football association, the age group tournaments are going on. But then you go to a certain level, beyond that, earlier there were, for, for, for any player who was trying to go get into that, there were so many clubs. That platform was there. And that platform is missing today. Like the Churchill Brothers in the Islands, now FC Goa, part of it. Where is the product of the players will go? That's the question mark. <coughs> of course, they can go to the country, but then it depends on the, the player's uh, pathway, where he decides to go. Rest of the players somehow we see him disappear, he has disappeared in terms of It's because that's one of the results. If Goa comes back to that level of the more teams coming back again to the, the I-League level at least, I think more number of players can play and the champ can come, come back. And that's what I'm looking for. Um, you know, 10 years ago on coaching courses in India, you'd always show the Goa pyramid and you'd say, Goa's got the best football pyramid amongst Indian states where you've got under 13, 15, 17, they're at the Tasa Goa League and then the Goa Pro League. But the number of matches, it's not just having a pyramid, you have to play. When I mean, you're talking about in Spain, these kids are playing throughout the year. I mean, just heard about the cricket players having problems about not being able to play more than five months. As a club, we can have an under-13 team. We can start even younger. We've got an under-15 team. There's some um, coaches here from FC Goa as well. We probably all had about 75 training sessions right from June till now with those kids under 13, under 15. But each team's only played about six or eight matches. Just putting leagues and saying, look, we're conducting leagues. But if it's finished in one month or two months, which is how a lot of our youth leagues are, it's just there for ticking a box saying we're conducting something. But we're not actually doing meaningful youth development. You've got GFDC centers, hundreds of them around um, the state where coaching is going on regularly, but they don't play one another. So coaches are not going to develop and players are not going to develop. So you have to fix those problems. Otherwise, we're going to be here in the same place 10 years later and the states like Mizoram you mentioned will be way ahead of us.